What's good YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. Today we are taking a look at some ridiculous things that got people fired. Guys, make sure you watch until the very end of this one because you're going to be flat out shocked at how these people even got fired or let go from their jobs. Well, except for the very last people, they definitely deserved it. Anyways, let's meet our first contestant on today's game show. Let's call it, Who Wants to Be Fired for a Stupid Reason? When a gunman confronted McLean and the store's manager, McLean got his own gun. He's an Air Force veteran from his car and the robber ran away. But two days later, McLean was fired for violating AutoZone's zero tolerance policy on guns in the workplace. Yeah, so this dude straight up became a hero at his local AutoZone where he worked. For those who don't know, that's just a place where you can buy car parts and things of that nature. But yeah, that's not important. What's important is the fact that he saved his store from being robbed and defused a robbery situation single-handedly. Usually you would think that he would get a little bonus or you know his boss would give him a little time off as a reward. Well, sadly that isn't what happened. You see, after he saved his boss from that dangerous situation and saved the store's cash machines from being completely ran dry by these robbers, he straight up got fired. <laughs> so I guess, in a way, he was given time off by his boss, but probably much more time off than he was wanting. What was your reaction at that point? Well, um, initial reaction is just, just the shock, you know, like, uh, wow, someone's really coming in here attempting to rob us. So yeah, this came down to a stupid rule not being followed. I get that companies have to protect themselves and have rules, but I mean, you can't allow one rule to be broken when it comes to your employees being at risk of losing their lives and having the store being robbed. Say what you want about this dude's actions. Some might think it was dumb of him to protect himself like that, but I think it was pretty brave of him to stand up for himself and his workplace. You know, maybe if he got the gun out and just showed them from outside behind the glass, he would have kept his job. Is it just the fact that he went inside with it that got him fired? I don't know, man. Just seems a little crazy to me that this was the reception to his heroic play there. I watched him uh, go back to the front. And as soon as I seen a window or opportunity for me to run out of the restroom, I ran from the restroom to the back door of the store and uh, out to my vehicle to grab my personal weapon. So this dude found a window of time when the dude was distracted enough and straight up bolted out the door to get his own gun from his car. Think of how stressful that is, bro. He actually made it happen right there. I guarantee me, you, and just about everyone else would be frozen in that time. I mean, getting robbed at the place you work at has to be a pretty traumatic experience, and his fight or flight reaction kicked in very strong right there, and his choice was to fight. Uh, once I confronted him, he pretty much surrendered, threw his hands up. Did you say anything? Yeah, when you confronted I, I, I told him to freeze, you know. This dude actually held the gunman up at gunpoint back at him and told him to freeze. Guys, this is legit out of a movie right here. Like, this is the beginning of the part that sets off his life of vigilante crime fighting. <laughs> I mean, thankfully, it didn't end up being in a gunfight because the robber probably thought to himself then and there, uh, yo, this dude just ran outside and got his gun like he wasn't even scared of me. I should probably be afraid of this dude and just leave now. He, this man had robbed 30 other stores. I mean, there were wanted posters for him, right? Did, did you recognize area, him? Um, I recognized him because we had been previously robbed by the same suspect. Um, okay, all right. <laughs> Just pause right there. 30 other stores? How are they not catching this dude? Is this the worst police force that has ever existed? And he had actually robbed this same exact store before? Does this dude just rob these stores and call up Lester to get his wanted level down right away? Like, I'm actually baffled with how this dude in a bright blue Ed Hardy t-shirt is able to rob 30 stores consecutively without being caught. You'd think you would realize your luck after the first 10 and be done with it, but maybe he realized, wow, I found my true calling here with robbing people, and he just kept doing it. But seriously, this dude is out here playing as if he was a character in GTA. As terrible as it is, he is kind of impressive how much he got away with it, bro. I will say that. But, um, like I said in the previous interview, I, I put uh, another person's life above a store policy. You're still glad you got the gun? <laughs> yes. <laughs> man, well, at least he has a good outlook, I guess, and he's still happy with how things went down. I mean, the man can find another job, I'm sure. If I was a local business owner and I heard about this situation, you know, I would definitely hire this dude after seeing this. I got no problem hiring a superhero to defend my store from this absolute robbery addict in the area that seems to be robbing places left and right. You've had new job offers. Yes, I've, I've had quite a few. Um... Oh, never mind. He is getting job offers, thankfully. That's I'm glad to see that, because even though, yes, he broke the rules, and yes, I can understand from a corporate business perspective why he got fired, I still feel bad for this dude for losing his job after pulling a stunt like that. Props to that guy. But unfortunately, guys, this isn't the worst firing in this whole video. This next one, in my opinion, is honestly so messed up, I, I can't even begin to talk about it. Just listen to this intro. Imagine giving up a kidney to help save your boss's life and then getting fired. 
A woman on New York's Long Island says it happened to her. So yeah, this lady straight up donated a kidney to her boss that was in need of one and subsequently got fired shortly after that. I'm not sure how this happens, but of course we're gonna see that in just a minute. All I gotta say is I don't care if someone is late to work every day and just the worst worker ever. I'm at least gonna give them some time to find a new job before firing them straight up if they ever donated me an organ. It's not often that someone is willing to have something removed from their body just to help out their own boss. According to Stevens, the only thanks she got from her boss came in an email. Thanks more than I can ever say. Here's the other worst part of this. Imagine undergoing surgery to get that removed and you're in recovery waiting to hear from your boss that you just did so much for, like you possibly could have saved their life with this, only to receive an email where they say, thanks more than I could ever say. That's not how you're supposed to contact someone that just donated a kidney to you, bruh. You better be taking them out to a five-star meal at least and showing your appreciation through face-to-face -face contact, not an email where you give the most generic response ever. That's like something you would email your coworkers if they helped you out on a sort of work issue, not something that you would email to someone that gave up a part of their body to help save you. Stevens had complications from the surgery, she says, like nerve damage in her leg. But, says Stevens, the yelling didn't stop. She told me that it sounded like a personal problem and she wasn't interested. Okay, yep. Worst boss I could ever think of right here, folks. Mind you, I skipped over this part, but this woman returned to work before her boss did, and then a few days later called in sick because she was still having complications from her surgery, which does happen. Like I said, she had a whole kidney removed. And after all that, what is the response from her boss? That sounds like a personal problem. Like, oh my god, dude, name a more second grader response, I dare you. That's legit something that would come out of the mouth of that kid on the playground that you play tag with and said, you didn't tag me, you only touched my shirt, you didn't make contact with my body, you're still it. Like, no, Timmy, you freaking idiot. I tagged you fair and square, you're it. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I was diving into some past trauma there. But yeah, how BS is that response? How about you enjoy your new kidney and let her be for a couple days, woman? So, of course, the company released some stupid statement claiming that they took good care of her, but after that, she has taken them to court where she is fighting this and probably stands to make quite a lot of money from them if she is successful. Now, guys, I admit we don't know the full story. Like, if you think about it, she could have legit been the laziest worker ever and thought of doing this to get brownie points with her boss in hopes of saving her job, but still, it's an interesting story nonetheless, and I actually probably should look it up and see if she ended up winning that court case because this was a little while ago. So you guys made it this far, so of course I'm gonna ask you to complete a challenge in the next five seconds. If you can like, subscribe, and hit the bell that quickly, I'm gonna make it rain money across the world. Guys, I'm like super close on finalizing the technology on this, so just have faith in me, guys. I'm about to literally make it rain. Anyways, on to the rest of the video. But all right, so we got one more here, and this one actually triggered me beyond belief because this dude is a pizza delivery man that's just trying to make his money and do his job. You don't gotta be rude or confrontational with people like that. I mean, come on. So for some backstory here, this used car lot made a pizza order that was $43 and some change. They scraped together 50 bucks between all of them and hand it to the guy, which the guy then leaves with the money as he expected that to be his tip. Usually, you know, you tip pizza delivery people, at least in America, that's just, you know, what you do. Apparently that didn't fly with these people, so they they called up his boss and had the guy drive back to hand over their money as a result after he got off work. And then these idiots just straight up go in on the guy while he's there, all over $7. Hey, I'll before I put my foot Someone posted the video, it went viral, the insults flew. This mid-2000s music video background actor lookalike threatens this dude as he leaves as if she is oh so tough. It's $7, you guys. Are y'all really tripping over seven bucks? Also, were they just planning on not tipping the guy at all in the first place? What a scummy place full of scummy people. Don't worry though, the internet did their thing and basically review bombed this place after word got out and the video got posted to the internet of them just trash talking this kid for a simple mistake. <laughs> and of course, they flooded the Yelp page with terrible low quality memes and things of that nature. You guys gotta understand, this was back in 2015, back when the meme economy wasn't nearly as booming as it is now, all right? We still accepted top text, bottom text, text format memes as being the golden standard of humor, so I'm sure people were actually unironically laughing at this stuff in the past. It says the man in the blue shirt was not actually an employee and that the female employee has been fired. Take that, you JCPenney sport and punk. Also, if the boss claims this dude in the blue wasn't an employee, what is he still doing sitting at a desk behind a computer? Do they just let customers and friends come down and hang out to do their business there? Don't worry though, the delivery driver was rewarded with a hefty donation, I will say. Supporters of the delivery guy even set up a GoFundMe account for Jared. 
raised thousands, much of it in donations of $7. So yeah, this dude ended up getting $7,000 donated to him via the internet. Very cool of everyone to be sending in a donation of that exact tip amount. <laughs> I mean, there's something very poetic about that. I will leave us on a good note with that trash 2015 meme right there. Guys, let me know down in the comments what you thought of these stories and if you thought any of these firings were justified. I obviously do not, except for the very last one, but it was entertaining and I wanted to show you guys these ridiculous stories I found that went viral a few years ago before I was doing all this commentary stuff. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to turn on notifications so that you can never miss an upload of mine and so that you can be a part of my lit notification squad. Y'all have been going hard on the early comments lately, and I love it. I love to see that. So anyways, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video, and until then, peace out.